Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Grey Zone Warfare. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU. So I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for Nvidia. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So right energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. I was getting a lot of stuttering with window full screen. For your resolution, make sure that you're playing native. Don't down, downgrade your resolution over there. Uh, you, the game will look very blurry, so make sure that you're using your native with your monitor. Uh, you have a couple of upscaling options that I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit later. Vertical FOV, super important. It's a vertical FOV. It's not a horizontal, so you can use some converter online to make sure that you're using the one that normally you use in any game. But I want to mention, if you go higher, you're going to lose some FPS. So if you're struggling right now with your FPS, start at default 60 and just lower a little bit. Um if you want to optimize your FPS. For VSync, I deactivate the VSync. I just want to remove the input lag as much as possible. So this one is super important to do. Uh, you can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync uh, if you don't like those steering line. But I always remove my V-Sync when I play a FPS game. So frame rate limit, I just unlimited my FPS. You want the less input lag. <laughs> it's a big struggle, honestly, to run this game. I have a 240 Hertz monitor and I can't run it at 240 FPS. So, But I still unlock my FPS. And for my background limit, I lock it at 60. After that, we're going to go to quality. This one for 3D resolution, normally if you don't use any upscaling technique, you should be at 100. You don't want to downscale this without any upscaling technique. Uh, the game will look too blurry. Global illumination, go with low. You can expect 4% boost in your FPS. Shadow quality, low. If I compare epic to low, you can gain a nice 10 to 12% boost in your FPS. So it's pretty decent. For texture resolution, if you have 8 gig of VRAM and more, go epic. 6 gig high, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig go with low. Effect quality, I recommend to go with low. Not a huge impact, 2%, but the impact will be that you will stabilize your FPS. When you're fighting, explosion and stuff, it's crazy. You're getting some crazy drop in your FPS. So my recommendation is go with low. Reflection quality, same thing. You don't want those crazy drop because of the reflection. Go with low. And foliage also, go with low. You can expect 6% boost in your FPS. And honestly, it will be a little bit better for the visibility to see enemies with this one at low. For post-processing, I recommend to go with low. Uh, you want pure visibility and also you will gain a nice 3% boost in your FPS. You don't want to use motion blur in any uh, FPS, honestly. <laughs> uh, it's not a, an effect that you want to use. Uh, sharpening, you can use this one, but also you can use the sharpening from uh, the sharpness from your uh, upscaling technique. If you feel that your game is too blurry, definitely go higher with this one. And the last one is the advance. So for advance, first of all, if you have a DLSS, uh, an RTX card, use DLSS. This is the best uh, upscaling technique. Also, I want to show you guys right now they're currently using the 3.7 uh, DLSS version. So you don't need to swap. They have the latest one. But in the future, if NVIDIA release new one, you can definitely swap it. Uh, but right now it's up the proper version that they are using. So if you're using the LSS, my recommendation is, first of all, use quality. 
Uh, this one is super important. Honestly, balance, performance, the game looks too blurry. So my recommendation is go with quality and you will have a nice 10% boost in your FPS. You also have the option of frame generation if you have a 4000 uh, series card. Honestly, in normally in any FPS, I um, don't recommend to use frame generation like competitive FPS, but this game is really rough to run. So it's going to add a little bit of input lag, but honestly, you should definitely use it to have a more fluid experience. Say in, in my case, I have like a 240 Hertz monitor and I can run it at 170 with frame generation. So that's pretty good. So that's why I'm using it. But in the future, probably I will remove it when they're going to optimize their game. For FSR, I recommend to go quality, pretty much the same thing than DLSS. All those other versions are too blurry. The weird part is the Fidelity FX frame generation. I didn't see an improvement with my FPS. Normally, it should do the same than the frame generation from DLSS. Don't know if it's a bug right now. If you can comment uh, on this uh, video, if you have the same issue or you don't have this issue. If you don't have the issue, please specify your video card. But for me, that's a bit weird. I want to mention also, if you have an NVIDIA card, make sure that low latency is activated. XESS, the last one is for Intel. It's also compatible on some uh, card. Uh, but honestly, for people who have like a GPU from Intel, pretty much 3% in the world. Uh, definitely, same thing, go with quality. Uh, it's doing a great job. I saw a couple of uh, comparison, honestly, and uh, they're doing great. The, the only thing is they don't have a good GPU. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. And this is pretty much it, guys. So, um, and this is pretty much it. Honestly, if you want to run this game, uh, like, easily, you will need to use some upscaling method. And uh, also the frame generation is pretty good for this game because right now it's early access and it's not well optimized. So that's about it for my Grey Zone Warfare ga guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.